This video demonstrates the removal of a mucosal from a lower lip. The video was originally recorded at the University of Copenhagen, Denmark, and is edited and released by the Arthur A. Dugoni School of Dentistry at the University of the Pacific in San Francisco. Yeah. Mucoseals are minor salivary retention lesions, usually of traumatic origin. They are most common in this location, usually painless, soft, and with a bluish tone. The treatment is initiated by giving local anesthesia infiltrations below the leaf lesion in different directions. The excision is started at the base of the lesion with a very superficial incision. A scissor is introduced between the lesion and the surrounding tissue and used to separate the mucosal, which can be seen clearly to penetrate out through the incision when released. The mucosal is held gently by a tissue forceps, which is used to navigate the mucosal in different directions while using the scissors to release it. The mucosal will be attached at the base where the feeding minor salivary glands are present. Hvis nu går løs, Pernille, så lad mig flytte den ud af feltet for hurtigt. Ja. Ja. Jeg skal lige zoome ud samtidig. Ja. These feeding salivary glands should be removed with the mucosal as it can be seen here. When released, the specimen is placed in 10% formalin and sent for histological examination. The incision is closed with a few single interrupted sutures, in this case using Vicryl. The histological examination confirmed the clinical diagnosis of mucosal. In this lower magnification, the retention of mucus is clearly visible, surrounded by an inflammatory tissue response. On the far left, uh, what is probably the feeding minor salivary gland can be seen. In this higher magnification, the inflammatory response is more clear. This was a production of the Arthur A. Dugoni School of Dentistry at the University of the Pacific in San Francisco.